Is deceit a good weapon? Or is your perception deceitful in itself? The goal is to find the truth. Starting off with a build, gameplay, and lastly, final thoughts on the whole ordeal. Archetypes got Hunter with Hunter's Focus. You can use Mark if you want to, but I think Focus is more damage if you just ADS and play it correctly. It's more effort though, that's for sure. Challenger with Rampage. You can use Gunslinger. I don't care. Your choice. Butcher's Fetish for my Omelette because I get 50% crit chance, 25% crit damage. All I gotta do is throw my melee weapon and you're gonna have to with the way we have to play Deceit. It is what it is. Design is miles for weak spot, prob core for crit damage. You could swap that to a Kari Warband if you're dodging. Archer's Crest, but I think the attack speed's nice and you want to land your shots. This will help you do that because of the projectile speed as well. Will Fair and Sigil, I... Ow, mother... Budger, dude. I just... Freaking pimp slap the hell out of my road mic stand, dude. Wheel Fair and Sigil, I know, I know it's a bit too powerful, but hey, it is what it is. You could swap that out for, uh, I suppose, Bird of the Follower if you want to be more ethical. I don't care. You do you. Ruined Heart Relic is great during fights where you need extra mod generation. Aside from that, pick whatever you want. Choice is yours. Secondary weapon is whatever you want. I didn't use it much at all. I just used the Trimmer and Time Wave modifier on the very last fight I did, which is Ravager, because it's good on that fight. Melee weapon, the best option is Krillax. It's the fastest to throw, I think. Maybe Hero Sword if you have that, but Krillax does more damage, and that's nice because of the overloaded feature as well. And Transference is, I think, the best option. I, I don't know what to do for that. You can pick your own mutation. There's options, but they're not exactly that great. If we ever get a Charge Speed mutation, that'd be better, or a Bleed mutation that lasts like 15 seconds or 20, that'd be fantastic because then we could use Abrasive Whetstone for our amulet to get 5% more crit damage. And finally, the weapon itself, Deceit. The way it's going to work, we're using Momentum for the Mutation. The way it's going to work is you're going to go ahead and go into a fight, pop all your buffs, then activate your modifier, hold your melee weapon, it doesn't have to be ranged, but just you know hold the cast, charge, aim at, aim at monster, land the hit, and then shoot your six shots and use your modifier again, because hopefully you have it back, and repeat the exact same process over and over and over again and by the way all of my talents or traits are on the right side here but just to give you a quick little preview this is what i'm using and the seven the points in amplitude it changes to whatever i think is best but basically everything but amplitude is what i'm using for sure and vigor as well as a choice if you can't aim, switch out Will Ferrell Sigil for Stone of Malevolence, equip the Nebula, use the modifier, and also use the Krellax, because now you have two elemental damage sources, and that makes this ring insane, because currently it generates a lot more than it should, and, and when that changes, it probably won't be that useful, but for now it is. I think we do this angle, right? You pop your Hunter's Mark, your Relic, and you just walk in and see what's going to do. Okay, and then that's gonna call tools me. Arms are ready. That would have been. Wait, I would have probably killed him there. I would have probably killed him there, bro. Son of a biscuit. Figure it out. Shunking, dude. Shunking, gotta believe. You can one phase it, but it requires a lot of luck. And I don't feel like sitting there for 20 years. The damage is high. The damage is pretty high on bosses like that. Damn, momentum change is crazy. I think there's no damage. I think there's no damage. It'll kill me instantly, which I knew it would, so it was whatever. But it does no damage. Like, it's level 10, dude. How's that not do more? 
That thing hit like an absolute paperweight. I was using a brick in a game called Gunfire Reborn that hit for 10,000. This thing hits for like 50. They call me 50 brick, bro. Four K there is crazy. Okay, eight stacks. Eight stacks feels good. I cleave those kids. Kind of sketch. Just a little bit. If you can aim that, actually it doesn't matter, I don't think. Rocket launch to go burr, dude. I'm still not sure how it freaking swiped me that last time. Must just be bad at dodging, I guess. That's insane to me. Not bad. That feels a lot better than it did before the patch because momentum got buffed. The weapon itself is pretty crit based. A little impressed. Is it the best weapon in the game so far? No. Like just to be mediocre, okay. I have to hit all my this shots. If I miss my shots, the gun becomes terrible. Literally terrible, literally. You got way too close. No. My damage, no. If I don't shoot fast enough, it's GG. so far damn that damage is no buffs sad final thoughts on deceit it's good against bosses that have no weak spots or ones that are hard to hit examples are like yellow reeves abomination and maybe the corruptor but bosses that have weak spots that are easy to hit it's really not ideal. The work required to make it decent is insane. And there's no real way of making it really good because even on a test dummy that doesn't move and you're getting optimal damage, your DPS is like 3K max, maybe 4K. And that's if everything goes perfectly. That being the case, it's neat and it's different. And it's fun against certain bosses. I think that the hive mind boss that I never know the name of the floating eye thing. That's a fun boss to use to build on. When it comes to ad clearing deceits, great against the elites because you can make a weak spot and some of them have hard to hit ones or you have like some mechanic you have to do to expose it. When it comes to killing the freaking trash mobs though, it's really bad. And I mean really bad because you don't really get the effect from the weak spot and when you don't have the weak spots active, your damage is laughable. If you miss your modifier, your damage is rough. If you have to manually reload, your damage is rough. It's way too much effort and not enough payoff on many of the bosses in the game. But hey, folks like it. Use what you want. I'm just giving my two cents. Hopefully they do make some changes like uh, increase the reload speed and or just make it worth the effort. Anywho, that's the video. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Peace.